Okay, we're going to give you some notes on uh, how astronomy rules your life. And whenever I start this discussion, uh, students, of course, think that there's no possible way that astronomy could rule their life. But give me a few minutes, and I might be able to prove it to you. Uh, if you look over here in our right-hand corner, you'll see that there's a little drawing of a calendar. And the question I want you to ask yourself is, how did we come up with all this stuff? Well, believe it or not, it's all based on astronomical cycles. So let's talk about what goes on. So first, the little box, the smallest little box we represent is a day. Okay, and our day consists of one day and one night. Okay, but we call it a day. Now scientists like to have fancy names, so they call it dinaural. N-A-U-R-A-L. And our dinaural system is caused by an astronomical cycle that we call rotation. And the rotation, we have the little Earth, and, and it has its axis, and it's going to spin around. And our rotation takes, as we know, 24 hours. Now, in that 24 hours, a lot of stuff goes on, because the circumference of the Earth is 24 hours. 900 miles and the earth is rotating that in 24 hours so we divide them and believe it or not our little earth is spinning at about a thousand miles per hour now that's at the equator where we live up here at 75 or 40 39 degrees latitude we're only going about 856 miles an hour and then the crazy thing is, from your geometry, you might remember 360 degrees in a circle divided by 24, and that equals 15 degrees. So we go 15 degrees in an hour. And you say, well, that doesn't make a difference to me, but it kind of does, because if we look at things that are relative to you, such as time zones, how do they come out? So time zones are normally set one hour apart. Okay, and that one hour represents about a thousand miles and degrees. So time zones are set up one hour apart and 15 degrees apart. And the example that shows that so well is that the west coast is three hours behind the east coast How many miles is it apart? Well, if you said 3,000, you're right. How about 3,000? How about how many degrees it is apart? Well, it's 45 degrees apart. Okay, so going around the Earth, there would be 24 time zones. Each of those represent 15 degrees. about the whole calendar, the entire calendar. What does the entire calendar represent? Well, that represents one year. And one year comes from the rev, R-E-V, evolution of the Earth around the sun. do that in 365.25 days. OK, 
Okay, now where does that extra day go? Well, that extra day would mess things up, and your birthday, if it was in June, would start being in another part of the year. So every four years we add a day, and we get a leap year. And a leap year has 366.25 days. And it makes everything work out. So the crazy thing is we've got the, the sun and the earth goes around the sun and your birthday is actually a place in space where the earth comes back to once a year. So what other kind of timekeeping do we do? Well, how else do we divide up our year? And the easy thing to think about is months, but there's actually a bigger chunk. So we divide our year up into four chunks. Four chunks, and those four chunks we call seasons, right? So we, we do seasons. working. There we go. Four chunks. And we do seasons. So we got four chunks and these are our seasons. And with our seasons there's a couple factors that, that cause it. And the earth spins on this little axis and this little axis is tilted 23.5 degrees. And the light from the sun on one part of the year shines real direct. And on the other part of the year, it shines less direct. And for us, this would be our winter. And this would be our summer. So th three things give us our seasons. And those three things come together to be the revolution, the tilt, and the angle of the sun's rays. But our calendar is more complex than that, so we have other things in there. And the next thing in there that we think about is our month. And where did this come from? Well, a long time ago, it used to be spelled like that. And maybe that gives you a clue where it comes from. So our month is tied to the lunar cycle. And the lunar cycle takes approximately 28 days. And if you take 28 days and divide it by 4, you get 7 day groups. And we know that our week equals 7 days. So, the lunar cycle not only gives us our month, but a week equals a change in phase. So the moon has four phases, and everybody knows the full moon, and everybody knows the new moon, and then after the full moon, there's half a moon, and before the full moon, there's also half a moon. So we go from full 
to third quarter to new to first quarter and each of these breaks is seven days and that's how we get our month and our year now most of you if I asked you something about astronomy it, astrology might have passed through your mind and a lot of people look at their horoscopes more than their telescopes. And, but the horoscopes actually have a lot to do with timekeeping because there are 12 constellations. And those 12 constellations are also a way of following our months. And the constellations added another benefit too because the lunar cycles look similar but the constellations really helped us understand when the, the seasons would begin and this was important for uh, for, do, for things like the growing season and uh, knowing when winter was going to come in and when spring and fall were going to begin. So, so the, the early agriculture that we did, the growing season, equaled a certain constellation. And the harvest equaled another. So hopefully in a few minutes here I've explained to you how astronomy rules your life. If you think about your vacations, they're based on um, weather and the weather's based on the seasons and that's an astronomical cycle. And if you think about it, when tomorrow when you get up to go to work, you're actually going to get up when the Earth has rotated a certain amount rotated a certain number of degrees and you're also going to wake up at a different place in space because the earth will have moved in its orbit when you went to bed put your pajamas on and went to bed the earth was here and when you wake up the earth is going to be over here and not a big deal, but this equals millions of miles. So when you go to bed, you wake up millions of miles from where you went to bed. So hopefully that explains a little bit more about how astronomy and timekeeping rule your life. The correlation between these astronomical cycles is the basis of how we developed our calendars. It was the system that we used to check to see if the calendars were right and it took us a while to get these calendars right but finally we did our calendar seems to work pretty well and it's because we were able to align it with the astronomical cycles so next we'll talk about uh, the early astronomers and how we figured out all the things that we know so stay tuned <laughs>